in the incredibly crowded space of digital productivity tools, there's one tool that's trying to make its way and become number one, and that is Notion. And I want to sit down and review Notion and actually see if it's something that maybe is just overly well marketed or if it's something that I could actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. That this is not sponsored by Notion, this is just my own opinion, my own review. Um, if you've used Notion before, let me know your opinions about it in the comments below. And with that, let's jump into it. So let's talk about the ease of use. The first thing that you'll notice about Notion is it's very sleek and minimalistic. It's designed to feel approachable and powerful with a focus on simplicity. However, when it comes to the user experience, there is a big learning curve involved. It takes a little bit of time to orient yourself and figure out what am I supposed to be clicking on? What should I be doing here? And they give you a little bit of a tutorial, but it does take a little bit of time to figure out how to use. There's a lot of drag and drop functionality that makes it easy to arrange content within pages, creating a seamless user experience. There's also a lot of built-in templates. The app comes preloaded with a variety of templates for project managers, task lists, note-taking, personal journals, and even budgeting. And it cross-syncs devices. You can have Notion and have it across all of your devices without having to create a new app here and another app here and another app here. It, everything is connected. While seasoned productivity enthusiasts might appreciate the depth that Notion has, new users like myself found that Notion was hard due to its vast array of features. And Notion also has limited offline capabilities. So if you don't spend a lot of time connecting your devices to the internet, let's say you are traveling and you're on a plane and you have everything offline, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of work on Notion because some of the features that work best also need to be connected to the internet. The second, let's talk customization. One of the things that I really love about Notion is how customizable it is. It's essentially a blank canvas where you can build anything you want from personal task trackers to intricate databases. Our flexible page structures, Notion's pages are fully customizable with blocks, text, images, databases, etc. that can actually be organized to suit your individual needs. They also have databases and linked pages. So you can create a database, a board, a calendar, and timelines, and you have the ability to link those pages and databases to provide a powerful way to connect information. If you use Notion in a corporate setting or in a business setting, and you take notes and you said, oh, I'm gonna link to this email that someone sent me, or I'm gonna link to this document that I did earlier. If you have notes, let's say you're meeting with your boss and you say, hey, this is a project that I've been working on and you link it to another campaign or you link your meeting minutes, whatever that looks like for you, you can figure out your workflow, but it's super cool because you can link everything together. One thing that Notion is, is really overwhelming with the options that you have. The level of customization, while it is powerful, can be really overwhelming for new users. Without clear guidance, it's easy to get lost in all of the possibilities and end up overcomplicating workflows. If you are not somebody who's very disciplined in your workflow and how long things should take, it kind of can get really out of control, all of the things that you're able to do in Notion if you don't really know what, where you wanna go. And there's also a lot of limited automations that can happen within Notion. Unlike other productivity tools, Notion's automation capabilities are somewhat basic. And if you wanna use a lot of those advanced automations inside of Notion, you have to integrate third-party tools and that can get really pricey. Let's talk collaboration. Notion positions itself as a collaborative tool and it's aimed to replace apps like Google Docs or Trello for team-based projects. And it offers various collaboration features allowing teams to work together in real time. The collaboration tools are really, really cool inside of Notion. There's real-time editing, so similar to Google Docs, you can actually allow multiple members of your team or of your family to edit pages simultaneously, making it great for collaborative projects. You can also add comments and mentions similar to Slack or Microsoft Teams. If there's something that you need to tell somebody, you can tag them or alert them that there's something on your list or in your project that they need to be paying attention to. What I will say is when I did try to do the collaboration part of this tool, in order to do this review, I did get fatigue on the number of notifications that I have. And from what I've looked at Notion's reviews, a lot of people feel the same way. You get fatigued on how much Notion connects people that it makes sure that you connect every single aspect. And so anything anybody does, it alerts you, it tells you that you have something happening. 
and it's just, it kind of feels endless. Okay, let's talk functionality. The good and the bad about Notion is it tries to be everything. So it tries to take all of the tools that you already work with and consolidate it into one platform. But that also means that it's trying to be everything where some things should be specifically their own. When it comes to functionality, you find that across Notion, there's a lot of unique features, sometimes an overwhelming number of features that you can use, but that also means that there's a lot of stuff that goes unused because most people don't think that they need to use Notion for 12 different things. There's also a powerful search functionality. The search function within Notion is robust and allows you to find content quickly, even within nested databases. And that to me is huge, especially if you're working across a large organization or a large team when you send a lot of information or you have content that kind of just comes from everywhere. It's easy and it's fast to have a search functionality so that you can get what you need when you need it. Okay, let's talk pricing. Notion does have a freemium plan, a free plan that offers some features, but not all. And then if you want to do a monthly subscription, it's $12 a month. If you pay yearly, it, that shakes out to $10 a month. What I will say in terms of the competitors, if you look at Asana, if you look at Trello, if you look at uh, monday.com the pricing is actually pretty in line with what you would pay with another competitor so in terms of investment for pricing and scalability ten dollars or twelve dollars a month is actually not that bad and what's even better is if you're a student you get a discount student rate so if you are in school and you're looking for just a better way to track your projects maybe track your schoolwork um so if you want to do it for a corporate setting or you want to do it for your team as an example uh, you will probably need to pay, and it's $12 per user per month. Um, so if you have 10 people on your team, $60 per month, or if you do pay yearly, it'd be $10 per month. Um, so you do have a little bit of collaboration restrictions based on if you use the free plan. Okay, my final recommendation, is Notion worth it? I think if you don't know exactly what you're using Notion for, I would say don't do it. I think you have to have a very specific use case to use Notion, especially if you're coming at it from a business perspective. If you're saying, I want to use this for project management, or I want to use this for note taking, or I want to use this for collaboration. I think there's a lot of tools that are already included as part of business structures that maybe replace the need to pay for something. So as an example, a lot of companies use Microsoft. Microsoft Teams is usually included as part of your corporate enterprise package. So do you really want to have Microsoft Teams as an option and then pay for Notion on top of it? Probably not. If you want to use project management, is it something that you would want to use a project management tool specifically like Asana or Trello or Rike or Monday.com? It's an option. I think what I would do is if you're looking at it just from a personal standpoint, you're saying, I want to keep myself organized. I think Notion is a really great free plan. I don't know if payment wise, if you want to do the paid plan, I guess you can if you have the money that you want to spend. I think the free plan is really great for a lot of people. And if you're just wanting to keep yourself organized or give yourself project management um, or keep your own projects under control, I think Notion is a fantastic option. And if you're still trying to figure out if project management tools is what you're looking for, you can check out this video that I made about different project management tools, Trello, Asana, and Monday.com. I did a comparison and review against those. So check out that video too if you're looking for more information. And with that, I will see you in the next one.